If you have been walking or feeling trapped in some type of fear, okay, let me tell you, that is just a deceptive energy that has been around you, that has been following you, that has been lingering around you, okay? Something that has wanted you to have some type of mental conflict, something that has wanted you to be in your head, something that has wanted you to feel trapped here, okay? Um, but that is all deception and envy, okay? That's just the the, the spirit of, of uh, the, the principalities that uh, that we are up against, okay? Um, and they, they may manifest through other people, okay, um, at, at times, or it could just manifest in uh, being fearful of you not going for your dreams, you not going for your goals, or you having uh, procrastination um, uh, difficulties, okay, um, you not doing the things that you know that you should, because really deep down, you're afraid that it's not going to work out, you're afraid that you're not going to be consistent, you're afraid that you're not going to be able to follow through, Okay, but that's all fear. It's like you, this is, it's like all of that energy is being disrupted. It's like you're having some type of tower moment to push you up out of this fear type of energy. Okay, spirit is telling you to stand your ground. Any type of heartaches, any type of loss that you have experienced, spirit is saying to stand your ground, stand up for your beliefs. Okay, I see that you guys have been resting for a while. You guys could be, have been getting wise, okay, or learning some things. Okay, spirit had to pull you to the side. Okay, you could have had to take a break from something as well. But with this rest and rejuvenate, I see that you are definitely moving on. Okay, so it's giving me action, being active. Okay, um, being an active participant. Okay, in your own journey, in your own life. But again, uh, letting go of all of this mental conflict. So to giving your, yourself space uh, to, gr to grow, giving yourself room to be able to grow. Okay, with this Empress energy here. All right, it's like you're nurturing something, nurturing yourself nurturing your thoughts, being kinder to yourself, okay, is what I see. I also see that um, you're receiving messages from from your spiritual family, okay? It's giving me light messages or light years away, okay? Uh, I'm getting colds and signs and synchronicities. So things are uh, showing up for you all over the place. Things could be knocking over in your home, okay? Um, for instance, I was outside earlier and literally like, um, I don't even know what it was because it was on the back of me, but it was like some type of flying bug and it like was, it touched on my neck and it was just back there for like, probably like two seconds, you know? And I could just hear it and I was like, oh my gosh, like what's on the back of my neck? <laughs> you know, um, but I, I leaned into it as well. You know, like, okay, you, okay, you, you, you loving my energy. You want to be all up on me instead of being in fear or being, you know, so, um, it's like, uh, you're getting all the signs and messages that are all around you. Okay. So just, um, no matter how they come through, pay attention to, to them all. Okay. Because I'm getting a lot of communication, um, that is taking place. A lot of instruction is what I am hearing. Okay. Could be in regards to this material wealth, uh, that some of you guys, uh, are receiving, Okay, um, something that you got. Oh, yeah, something's about to fall right in your lap. Some type of material. This literally just fell on my lap. Okay, um, so it, it's different kinds of material um, harvest as well. So it could be an opportunity uh, from this. You could get a phone call in regards to an opportunity. And then uh, there's something else that comes through because you see th there's an apple here. Then there's money. There's a jar. There's a different, everybody's abundance, everybody's material um, gains are going to look different. Okay. Um, you may, uh, I'm hearing TV. Okay. So I'm getting news. So somebody may be on the news or something's going to be reported to the news or um, yeah, y'all could be watching the news. If you've been watching the news, like watch what you need to watch and then turn it off. You know, uh, I get to in here and there if you need to you know but um don't be watching the news because that'd be messing you uh y'all up you know um but i it's something that's newsworthy though or something of that nature is what i am picking up on so pay attention because um this nine energy it's like you you did this it's like you 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 built yourself up this nine energy is very independent okay you're ready to birth something okay with this number nine here again going back to this fertility this empress three six nine okay something could have said three months six months nine months okay exponentially okay so there's a lot of growth that is here 
here, okay? Especially when it comes to your material wealth, when it comes to your mindset. It's like you've been able to get rejuvenated. You've been able to face your fears. You've been able to face the deception, been able to face um, the enemy within, okay? This mental conflict, okay? And you, you've been able to sit with it and 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 not and, and you've been able to to work with it instead of allowing it to over empower uh, over uh power you okay instead of letting the heartache the grief the loss and and all of that um uh, uh overwhelm you you've been staying on top of it okay you've been standing your ground you guys have been saying your affirmations you guys have been praying you guys have been meditating you guys have been journaling you guys have been releasing okay you guys have been doing any and everything possible i heard but no one understands sis bro i do trust me i may not have the same trials that you have experienced but i get it okay we're all humans and i'm someone who 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 does um who who, who is an empath and can tap in and and trust and know and believe that i've had my own uh journeys and baby that that mental conflict gets real okay that 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 heartache and loss it gets real all, all right um being in your head all the time being hard on yourself again um uh, um uh, walking through the shadows of the death, you shall fear no evil. Okay, it's like no evil can can touch you. Okay, touch not my anointed, touch not my prophet. Okay, the weapon may form, but it shall not prosper. The weapons being fear, the weapons being lack. Okay, the weapons being gossip, the weapons being deception, the weapons being sadness, the we the weapons being uh, depression, the weapons being envy. Okay, the 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 weapons being habits and 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 things that are keeping you stuck. Okay. Um, all, all of those weapons, they may try to form, okay? The weapons are being your health, okay? You, uh, having health issues and so forth. Those weapons may form, okay? The relationship troubles, they may, the, those weapons may form, but they shall not pr uh, prosper. And ye shall be prosperous in your finances. Ye shall be prosperous in your relationships. Ye shall be prosperous in your health. Ye shall be prosperous all the days of your life. Period. Ye shall be confident, okay, and prosperous when it comes to resolving any type of mental conflict. Period. The devil must flee. The devil is not welcome here. The enemy is not welcome here. It must flee. The fear must flee. The deception and envy must flee. All the disruptions and tower moments must flee. But the disruptions and tower moments, uh, a, a lot of times can be from the universe pushing you in the direction. You'd be wondering if you're on the wrong path, even if you were quote unquote on the wrong path, which you couldn't be for what I'm about to say right now, the universe is always going to have something happen to push you and get you back on the right path. Okay. Or on the path that you feel like you was, you was going off of. It's given me polar express. I was about to say polar bear express. Brr. Okay. You cold. Okay. Um, but it's like, it's giving me polar express when they were in the, um, Santa's workshop and the, it was a little girl and a boy and she was following the little black girl was following the sounds and it, it was, they was in that intersection. And so the echo was, um, you couldn't barely tell where the, the ringing sound was coming from. Cause it was echoing throughout all the pathways. And she said, it's this way. And he said, are you sure? And she she said, yeah, you know, it's like, sh you got to trust that, you know, you just got to trust it and keep on going is what I am picking up on. Some of y'all need to charge your phones as well. Okay. Y'all got low batteries on your phone. Y'all, y'all have had low battery as far as y'all energy. You need to recharge yourself. You need to plug yourself up. You need to plug in. Okay. Do for you. Give yourself some necessary energy. Okay. I'm hearing again, cold or cold, cold world is giving me J. Cole, but it's giving me, it's just cold outside. So it's giving me drinking your tea, taking care of you. It's giving me hibiscus. It's giving me honey. It's giving me raspberries. It's giving me, you know, those type of teas and so forth. Okay. I'm getting lemon drop, but lemon peppers. Okay. Um, just something to calm the nerves, calm the senses here. Meditating. Okay, I see somebody's tea and the smoke coming up out of the tea. Choosing to drink tea instead of alcohol is what I'm picking up on here as well. Okay, using different herbs and so forth, tapping more into to natural medicine is what I see here, is what I am picking up on here. It's like your life is going through a drastic radical shift, a radical change. 
and it is bringing in some type of material wealth here for you or some type of material harvest that's what i see here okay it's like, so it's like, keep doing whatever this is that you are doing, but it's like the envy, the, the fear, the deception, the lack, okay, the confusion, all of that is of the enemy. We fight not of, uh, of flesh, okay, but of, of uh, a spiritual principal, uh, spiritual principalities, okay? So many of you guys are not fighting against the flesh, okay, or other people. It's like you're, it's, it's, it's against the spiritual principality. So put on your armor of God is what I'm picking up on, okay? Yeah, it's time for you to put on the armor of God and allow, let, allow God to protect you, okay? Protection is number one, especially in any of your spell work, anything that you do. Protecting yourself and asking for protection will bring in those things that you desire. Protection will bring in your manifestations. You could be bringing in a whole a lot of material wealth but you haven't done any type of protection work over yourself so all that money that you've been calling into yourself is being quote unquote snatched in the ethers before it could even be birthed into the physical realm if that makes sense it's not just about your safety protection. It's about protecting your home, protecting your mindset, protecting your wealth, okay? Especially during things that you are manifesting from the spiritual, from the ethereal realms into this physical world. You have to make sure it's protected as it's, as it's being uh, guided into this physical realm. And if it's not protected, all those spiritual entities that we are fighting up against can come and just take all of it. And spirit says, no, you have to protect this, period. So protect yourself. Your love isn't in, that your love interest or the the right person hasn't entered into your life yet because you're not protected. So you keep getting all of these people, these feelings. Something about feelings or fillers. Something that's fake, fake love. You've been getting this quote unquote fake love because you you you've been calling love in, but yet you haven't protected yourself. You haven't prayed a prayer of protection. You haven't set the intention of protection to protect what's coming in for you. Protecting your words. You get what I'm saying? Protecting every the, 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 the spiritual energy of whatever this is that you're birthing. All of your manifestations. Even your energy. Protecting your own energy. Especially if you do any type of spiritual work. So protection is number one. Protection is key. We're all learning here as we go along our spiritual journey and wake up. Everybody's at different levels. But protection is key. And that's how you stay away from fear as well. That's how you keep the deception and envy because you're protected from it. it can The weapon can try to form, but you're protected. Period. So you may be sad and, and so forth, but keep yourself protected so you don't fall deeper and deeper into a, into a depression or anything like that. Further than what you need to be all because you failed to add protection to yourself or protection to your daily rituals, whatever you do. Wake up, go brush your teeth and you're praying. Wait, as soon as you realize that you're up, pray. Ask for that protection. Give gratitude first and foremost for making it on this time side of life. But you get what I'm saying. Always move with protection. But this is these are the messages that I have for you guys, okay? Um, again, a, a, a lot is, is going on for you guys. You guys are clearing out this energy. Um, uh, you guys have a lot of communication that's coming in from the physical realm, okay? Guiding you on how to really move forward and leave all of this dark energy behind you, okay? Um, it's like, no, no, no. Claim that for yourself. It's like standing on, uh, on, on, on your morals, on your ethics, on your beliefs and saying, I'm not accepting this. This fear anymore. I'm not accepting this envy anymore. I'm not accepting this heart ache and loss anymore. I'm not accepting these stuck cycles. I'm not accepting a, 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 a overdraft bank account. I'm not accepting, you know, not having money in, in my account or having jobs. You're not accepting not having the love of your life. Or you're not accepting having broken relationships. Whatever this is for you, you're not accepting any of that because that's dark, low vibrational energy. And all it's going to, all it is, is it was all created in truth. In fear it was all cre all of this dark energy that you're moving out of you created that within fear you conjured up those relationships okay and the, the 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 lack of money and the jobs and all of that type of stuff because you were moving in fear you're out you're all of that is being disrupted now spirit says enough fear it's time for you to move with clarity
and peace 1444 on the time it's time for you to move on maya i'm moving on her and silk, silk the shocker okay i'm also getting maya angelo all right so, uh, uh, you know, a poet is what I'm getting. So you guys could be a poet. Write about your experiences, okay? You need to write your experiences or jot your experiences down or start writing your poetry for somebody. Some of you guys may go to open mic, so you need to perform it or something like that. Or even if you just do it for fun, okay? Express yourself. Express yourself. Number seven, 18, 16, 3, 4, 6, 7, 3, 2 is significant. 33 is significant. And again, 77, okay, 777, yeah, you're lucky. You have this lucky, blessed, healed energy about yourself. And Spirit says, no more can this, this dark negative, these dark negative forces, entities, inner, whatever this is, mindsets, have control over, over my anointed one. So Spirit is allowing all of this energy to be removed because Spirit says, you're, you're, you, you, there's a there's a, a, a separation that is here that is taking place and spirit says you have to be on the higher end of that separation okay so uh, and 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 there's a lot of people that are sinking and falling to the bottom okay and you are not one of them so spirit has a, had spirit had to separate those who are truly in that fear to stay at the bottom and because you had imagine if you didn't do the work you would still be in this fear and still be in this bottom this bottom feeder type of energy because you didn't do the work or whatever. You get what I'm saying? But you guys have been doing the work and getting out of the sphere and doing everything possible. And spirit is coming in to help you. And, and so that way you are on the upper end of this great shift, this great separation, okay, that is taking place that everybody is witnessing right now. So things are moving away from you like crazy. Things are dropping. People are dropping like flies. Time is speeding up. You guys, again, are having many. I be talking to animals, like, for real, for real. Like, we be ha I'm, I'm a Dr. Doolittle. We be having conversations, for real, for real. You know, it's like I have animals that come visit me, sit by my window, things like that. So, you guys could be having those type of same things that, like I told you, the bug on my neck. And it was sitting there for a little minute, you know. And instead of being like, ah, and screaming like a girl, like, <laughs> Like, what the fuck is on me, you know? I was about to... It's almost like I had to play it off like a G. Like, okay, I ain't gonna let this, you know, get to me, you know? Like, okay, okay, you there, you there, you there. What's up, what's up, what's up? I had to take it. I had to handle it. It's always giving me fear factor. Y'all remember fear factor? How they used to do all that stuff for the money? They used to sit in bins of snakes and roaches and different types of bugs and stuff all for a competition and money and that's what it's given to me it's like you just you, it's like you stood through something and spirit saw your strength spirit saw that you were mentally conflict and you were trying to make decisions and you didn't know what to do and you were hoping you made the right choice and there spirit sees your heart and spirit says i'm i'm i'm, I'm helping you and assisting you to and helping you to raise your energy so, so some things may have to be removed or um, uh, so you can, uh, so, so you won't, um, so you are able to elevate, okay? Getting my words together. Throat chakra energy, okay? Having the right words, but whatever comes out is what's meant to come out whenever you speak or have conversations with people, okay? But I'm gonna leave your messages here. This is kind of like an extra bonus. I wasn't planning on doing another reading, but... The messages were flowing and the spirit told me to talk about this. So this is for somebody. Okay. Um, but all of this is so you can receive some type of material wealth and not just about the money. So your emotional level, your emotional IQ, um, again, is, uh, is, is elevated. Okay. Um, so everything that you had to clean, it's like, imagine having this material wealth and a cleansed body, a cleansed mind, a cleansed soul, a cleansed spirit. Like everything is just cleansed about you. You're very pure is what I am picking up on. The universe trusts you. The angels trust you. You are an earth angel. That's what I'm getting here. You have a lot of growing that you have done. You are in this empress energy. No matter who you are watching, you're, you've been nurturing yourself and loving on yourself and growing all of the good that is about you period. And that is here at the forefront. You see how fruitful and abundant she is. Okay, you see all of that? So just because you've experienced certain things, don't discount yourself. Give yourself the credit that you deserve. 
because you've done a lot of growing. And a lot of times people focus on the negatives and they don't ever give themselves credit. I am here to tell you, give yourself the credit because baby, it's kind of like you passed. You got the direction and it's like, oh, you're here already. So it's kind of like it's, it's over as it's, it's quick as it started. Something could have came in, hurt you, tore everything up. And it's like the next day you're like, you know what? I'm fine. It's almost like it didn't even happen. You're not suppressing the feelings or anything else. You're really like, you know what? I'm good without that because you fully 100% trust the universe or whatever has shift has taken place in your life. You got rejuvenated. You it's almost like somebody is healing overnight. Or you you have a large percent you you have like 70 80% of healing that was done overnight almost after some type of incident or within a week or something. You you get what I'm saying? It's like it doesn't take you long to heal from some type of situation or for you to be stepped into this new energy where you're like, "Whoa, dang, last week I was just crying my eyes out and now I'm in my new Bugatti type of energy. Of course, that may not be for real for, for, for y'all, but you get what I'm saying. It's like it's a drastic change from one day to the next or from one week to the next. Because spirit is carrying you because you're in the light. The reason that you were still, you know, in that dense, dark energy is because when whenever it was released, that fear, you were still in that. But as it was let go from you, you were separated from it more and more and more. And the light and the dark, continue. there's a line here between this light and this dark energy. So you're now in the light. And since you're in the light, you're protected from the negative dark feelings and emotions that come with it as well. So that's why you're feeling better because you have that protection over you. Spirit says you wouldn't even have to feel this for long. It's kind of like a pinch. Ow! You know like when you go to the doctors and you get that little bitty old pinch and it hurt forever. You be like, and it's like, girl, I'm done. Boy, I'm done. You feel me? But it's just like, you know, those little finger pokes or whatever. It'd be like, oh, it's just the anticipation of pain. But then it'd be over. You'd be like, and it's like, it's done. It's over with. And you be like, but it still hurt. And it's like, get out of here. Go get you a sucker and a sticker. Go get a Coke and a smile. You good type of energy. It's like, you good, boo, whoever you is. Yeah, but I'm going to let y'all go for real. This, these are y'all messages. Ashe, thank you all so much for your continued love and support. If this message resonated with you, if you got something out of it, please go ahead and give an equal energy exchange, okay? Because you are receiving my energy, okay? Uh, so go ahead and uh, like this video uh, to show your appreciation, okay? Uh, and also... Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you added to the family. You all can also work with me one-on-one uh, -on -one down below in the description bar. You all can book your appointments or uh, book your readings with me. And baby, I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.